Hey guys and welcome back to another squad builder challenge. This time I'm going to be doing it on the team of the tournament, Farman. He's the first owner I did pack him. I did open a couple of packs over the Christmas period. I didn't record anything but the Farman is the one we're going to do it on today. Obviously he plays in the Bundesliga for Schalke. So if you are new around here guys and you don't know what the rules are, I have changed them a little bit from the Martial the squad builder challenge that I did do. So basically I go into the store, open one premium gold pack, I have to use one player out of that pack, doesn't matter who it is, doesn't matter what rating it is, I have to use one of them. I have to make a hybrid, so a minimum of three different leagues into the team. I randomize my formation, so I go like that, I don't look, I know I don't use the camera, but I do not look, and for argument's sake, it falls on that. And I can't use more than three players from the same team, so I can't use another two Schalke players. So with all that said, Let's go into the store and open one premium gold pack and choose one player from that pack to actually put into the team. That's a non race so not a good start. But it is Fabinho from Monaco, Brasilia. Not a bad player to be honest. Let's see if we can get anyone else in here. No idea who this guy is, never heard of him. But we do get Fernando Gago from... Is that... Boca Juniors? It is Boca Juniors. So that could be a possibility as well. Do we get anyone in the Duca? I don't think so. No. Now I do think I want to use Fabinho, but because I use Marsha, my last squad builder, I use a few players from League R, I don't really want to do that again, so I'm going to pick Gago. Let's put Gago into the team. Put him onto the next page, and let's pop him there just for now. So Fernando Gago is the second player that's going to be in the squad. So let's get into the squad, and uh, let's randomize my formation. And like I said, guys, you will have to just trust me that I'm not looking at this. And yeah, let's just randomize this. So I'm not looking. So we'll stop in three, two, one, stop. And we get the 4 1 4 1, which is not the greatest of formations. Let's go back into that. I don't know why I took that. No way I backed out of that. So let's go back in there. So I'm going to put Gago there or there. Let's put Gago into the centre mid like I said guys I have to do a three league hybrid so I'm going to have to put another one in here so it's going to be an interesting one so let's start the team off see what players got in the club I could possibly put into there and let's see what sort of team I can build here I do want to use Sol but his pace is quite slow for a centre back let's see if we've got anyone different I can maybe use let's put another start here soon that starter comes in as a perfect link, so that could be alright there. Let's see if we've got any Argentinian centre backs. None of them really play in the league that I want. Uh, let's back out of that idea. Let's just go into any again. Let's see if there's any Argentinians in the Bundesliga centre backs. And uh, let's go onto the transfer market and let's see what sort of players. Amrabat is actually not a bad player by the looks of it. Let's get Amrabat in. 900 coins, that's fine. So Amrabat comes in and gets a good link with obviously Gago there. Now what really am I going to do? What league is Gago in? I know it's the Argentina league, but what is it actually called in here? Premier Division. Okay, so let's have a look if i got anyone in the Premier Division. There you are. Let's see if i got anyone. I don't think I will. No, I haven't got anyone there. Let's see if i got no one there. I'm going to have to go into the transfer market and let's see what sort of players are around there. And this looks like he's the only guy on here at the moment. No, it looks like this is the only guy that is actually on here. Let's just buy this one. Right mid, so let's pop him into the team. So get a nice strong link there. Right back, what am I going to do right back? Let's just have a look, see what sort of players I've got at right back. Because I'm really not sure who I've got right back. Obviously I want to try and link that up. If I've got, um, if I've got an Argentinian one, that would be perfect. But if not, I'm going to have to use Bundesliga one. I have got, it's from Boca Juniors as well. Perfect. Let's get him into the team. Um, left back, right. Left back, I'm going to have to try and... Um, Start looking to a different league now. I have got Congolo. I will be doing another squad builder with Congolo as well, guys. So I'm not going to use him now. I could use him, but I'm not going to use him because, like I said, I want to use him in another team. I want to use him in another squad builder, so I'm going to leave him out for now. So, what left back am I going to go with? I don't really know where I'm going to go with this team at the moment. I could do the easy route and just pop one of these Argentina left backs in would make it pretty simple but I don't really want to do that I want to try and make it a good team and a bit different so 
to go with Dretro Williams. Might be a bad decision that one, but we'll see what sort of things we've got. I've got the Pi. The Pi could do a good link up. So let's put the Pi in there. Nice link to Dreto Williams. So it looks like it's gonna be a four league hybrid, so so let's go into the CDM, see if I got anyone here. No, I changed that to centre mid because I know I've got someone decent I can put in there. I know that because I got Pereira, who I love on this game, sick on this game. It gives us a nice little link up there. And basically all I need now is probably a premiership centre mid. Are there actually any Argentinian, apart from Pereira obviously, I've obviously got him. No, he's, oh actually, they just see Lanzini then. Uh, let's put Lanzini in there. Never use Lanzini. I guess there's a good little link up there. Don't really know what I'm going to go for striker. So I'm just going to see what I've got. Not on the transfer market. I have to see what I've got in my club really. Put, could put Aguero in. But I use him in my normal team. So and I've got Giuliano as well. Which I will again make another squad builder on guys. So look out for that one. So seeing as I do actually need a strong link. I'm going to have to go Aguero. Just for the fact that I'm going to have to have a strong link to get the pie up a little bit. There are too many Argentina players that I would have realistically liked, but, but obviously me choosing Gago is actually quite an awkward one to actually try and get into. So yeah, that is what the team is looking like. So Guerra up front with the pie on the left, Manzini, Gago, and no idea what that right midfielder is. And you've got uh, Pereira in that CDM. And then you've got... Jetro Williams at left back, Nastasic at centre back with Amrabat. I'm not sure who the right back is, let's have a quick look who the right back is. Peruzzi. And then obviously Farman in goals. So, right, then just going to fill the bench up quickly. And then what I will do, go into the game. Look at all these Argentina players that I've got. Couldn't have made this squad so much better. I didn't realise they had so many Argentinians. But yeah, like I said, I'll just go into this now, fill the bench out. And then um, we'll get into a game and we'll see how we're doing it, basically. Um, don't worry, I won't be using any of these players on the bench. It's only just for show, but yeah, that is what the squad is looking like. So let's get into a game, see what our opponent team looks like, and see what the team plays like. So we got our opponent for today's episode, and it is a full BPL team. Stermani and Giroud up front, Delph Bay on the right, Pedro on the left. You got Bojan on the cam with Oscar and Herrera in the centre midfield position. Then you got the Tonkin, Fonte, or Font, Cahill, and Begovic in goals. Pretty decent lineup to be honest. Not a bad squad, but yeah, let's see how actually my team plays and see how Farman plays as well. So that's what it's all about. And yeah, we'll see how the game goes. And it's a great start to get Aguero in. And Aguero should have scored that. Comes to Aguero again, get that to Pereira, and he's blocked that. Ah, oh, great play. This guy's rapid on the right. Ah, oh, great play. Got two, Gago, and oh, what the fuck was that, Gago? That's why he's a CDM, really, not a centre mid. Gago, to Pereira, have that touch, strike that, Pereira, and I don't know how, but somehow Begovic, I don't know why, I've played this like the last few weeks and whatever, but, oh fuck, I didn't change my, Farmer's taking my corner kicks, I didn't fucking realise that, I didn't change that, but yeah, but somehow, Begovic is like the world's greatest keeper on here, strike that, I said, see what I mean by Begovic, like I said, I don't know how, but somehow, oh fuck, I forgot to change Farmer again, really knock that inside, Lanzini to Gago, have a strike Gago, and it's deflected goal, I'll take it. Not exactly the sort of goal that I like scoring, but took a deflection anyway. Goes into the bottom left hand corner, as you can see. Nice play by Pereira, good ball inside. And then Gago has a strike, and big deflection goes into the bottom left hand corner. So it's 1 0 up, I'll take it. Now, White into Jetro Williams, it was Memphis as a strike. And a pretty shit strike, to be honest. To Aguero, great touch, strike that, and it's a save by Begovic once again. Oh, oh what the header by Pereira! Great header by Pereira. 
Like I said, if you're looking for a cheap CDM or set midfield player in a BPL, Pereira is so, so good. I use him in my normal team. He is an amazing player for me. Doesn't cost that much, costs about 3,000. Obviously, depending when you buy him, the market might have crashed or not. Yeah, but it costs about 3k. Honestly, he's so good player. Technically, all his stats are high. But yeah, decent player he is. Memphis the Pie on the counter attack. It's a great touch. So quick, Memphis the Pie. And Strike Clash. No, what the fuck? I was just going to say that's 3 0. But I forgot that is Begovic in goals who saves everything. And that's a decent save. My status is with a header. So right, that is half time and we are dominating this game 2-0. 15 shots, 11 on target, 54% possession. He's had two shots, one on target. Like I said, I don't know when Begovic became the world's greatest keeper on here, but somehow he's insane. He saves near enough every shot I've had. So yeah, hopefully we can get one more goal in the second half and that will kill the game off to be honest guys. I will be surprised if we rage quit. Yeah, we just got to keep doing what we're doing and I'm sure we'll get the win in this. We've got a break on here, if we get a ball in, how about 1-2. Perizzi, my good feet, and a decent save by Begovic. How about, and, oh, Lanzini, I tried to do a spectacular finish there. Decent effort, to be honest. Not exactly easy to do that, but, yeah, it just hit the straight to the floor and it bounces straight over. Great up, one it back, cut inside. Cut back to chip him, and I don't know why he did that. So we've got a throw in, see if we can work some space here. Lay that off there. Two dread with Williams, who has a strike straight to Begovic's hand yet again. How many saves did he made in this game? So we've got ourselves a corner, let's get Lanzi on there to whip this in. See if someone get ahead on it. Straight to Begovic, out to Gago, have a strike. Fucking hell, at the bar. So guys, unfortunately it looks like he's stopped playing. All he's doing is just kicking it back and forth there, which is fine with me, don't really mind. But yeah, unfortunately that is going to be it for actually this game. So I'll just talk to you soon as the game is over. So hey, right, that is the end of the game. Unfortunately, he obviously, like I said, he didn't play the whole game. He stopped playing after about 70 minutes or so. So unfortunately, he didn't actually see how good the team was for the full game so I apologize about that but obviously not a lot I can do about that if someone doesn't want to want to play then they don't want to play but overall the team played pretty well for about 60-70 minutes of the game they looked really well everyone played pretty good Gago was actually not bad and like I said Pereira was he just as he is like all the time he's just perfect he's such a good player but unfortunately it wasn't really much of a test so I don't really know how good Farman really was couldn't really see how good he actually performed and stuff like that. So the jury's still out on it. I have to use him a couple of times. If you do want me to make another one on Farman with obviously the same team, or if you want me to make one with a different team uh, around Farman, then let me know. Cause obviously it'd be nice to have, actually have a proper game against someone. But I said that's gonna be it for today's game though. I will be doing one on Congolo, like I said, and uh, Giuliano. So look up for them. They will be soon. I will be opening packs up the next few months, so if I do get anyone good, I will make another squad build around them players, so yeah, look out for them. But anyway, like I said, that is going to be it for today's episode though, so if you did enjoy the episode, then hit the like button. If you are new around here, hit the subscribe button, it would be much appreciated. And like always, if you did enjoy the episode, hit that dislike button, let me know why in the comments so I can improve on other videos. I'll catch you all soon. See you guys.